Good morning everyone from Mill Creek Park in Youngstown, Ohio. It is a beautiful Sunday morning and we are starting 2023 with our first hike here in good old Mill Creek Park. So we're actually right now at the Pioneer Pavilion, which is a very historic building and a lot of people use it. At, they reserve it, the cabin itself, for parties and large events. So I'll show you that real quick. We've never been here before on my YouTube channel so this is a different portion of Mill Creek Park as you can see here's a sign and you know what let's go and take a quick walk down here and I'll show you this historic building I believe it was constructed in the late 1800s or the uh, late 1800s early 1900s really beautiful structure as you can see the shade is uh, covering this beautifully over here with the snow and every it just looks really magical today so this is the gorgeous pioneer pavilion and during the summer months this is a really popular picnic destination you can see in the background over here actually let's go and take a look at this as well i'm not really sure what this is over here there's some sort of historic plaque, but look at this. You could get a different view here. Just looks gorgeous. All right. So I'm going to go over this way. And it's a really cold day today. It's in the, the 30s, but it's a perfect day to film here. Okay, this says it's the Mill Creek Furnace up ahead. Wow, look at this. It's a nice little kiln. Let's go and read the plaque. All right, so constructed in the late 1820s or early 1830s, the Mill Creek Furnace was the first blast furnace in Youngstown and the third in the Mahoning Valley built by members of the Heaton family who were pioneer iron producers. Wow. They had built the Hopewell Furnace in Poland Township in 1803 and the Maria Furnace in Niles in 1813 originally fueled by charcoal, the furnace with its 30-foot stack produced approximately three to four tons of iron each day. Wow. Talk about amazing craftsmanship. And there you can see in the distance, look at that. All right, so this is what the furnace looked like. Jeez. It's amazing to have this piece of history so close to home. All right, let's go and continue our hike. All right, so we're just walking right now. As you can see, it says 1821-1894. Very historic building. And now we're going to continue on in the distance. There's a waterfall. But look at this. There's the waterfall in the distance. And it's actually just a dam, but I, I like to call it a waterfall. <laughs> it's beautiful though.
just incredible. All right, let's continue on with our hike. My father, as well as my little Scottish Terrier, Dexter, have continued up ahead. That's beautiful right there. We were definitely in the mood to go hiking today. It's just perfect weather. Even though it's cold, I mean, we wanted to start off the year with a nice hike. By the way, this is, I believe this is uh, Newport Lake in Mill Creek Park. Good old Lake Newport. And this path is really unique because it has these custom built little bridges here along the pathway. It just adds to the whole feel of the hike. By the way, this trail does eventually connect with several other unique hiking trails within Mill Creek Park. So, I don't believe I've covered this trail in particular. That's why I wanted to get out here with my father and Dexter today, do a little bit of recording. And I also wanted to test out the quality of the new GoPro. Well, that's a nice shot right here. I just love that. Looks like we have some icicle formations up ahead. You'll notice as you walk along this trail, there's several picturesque opportunities. This is one of them here, look at this. That is so beautiful. It's like a tree hanging right along the cliff here. Wow. There's a cave in here as well. That's really unique, look at that. As you can see, this portion of this reinforced wall was constructed in 1937. So this park is very historic and is very nostalgic for the Youngstown community as well. This is another one of my favorite parts of this hike. I love this beautiful reinforced wall here. Craftsmanship is just beautiful. And it offers some gorgeous views in the background.
Okay, so we are wrapping up that short little hike around Lake Newport, as well as this dam that's over here. Just a beautiful day, a beautiful Sunday. A great way to start 2023, the hiking season. Last year, of course, we went on many beautiful hikes from all over the country, South Dakota, Colorado, West Virginia, Pennsylvania. We have a action-packed itinerary planned for 2023, so sit back and enjoy the ride. It's gonna be amazing. So after our peaceful stroll through Lake Newport, as well as the dam, we're going to complete the Artist Trail, which is only 0.2 miles with good old Dexter here. It's nice because you hear the sounds of the relaxing sounds of the river. Oh, you can go down here too. Love the way the sun is reflecting off the river. This is one of my favorite trails I've never been on in Mill Creek. Who knew the Artist Trail was so beautiful? Guess why that's, it has the name Artist Trail. Well, look at that. I love these trees, it reminds me of being out west. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. I love stuff like this when you go on a trail. It's beautiful icicles. a nice size cave too so it would be a perfect shelter if you were stuck out here All right, looks like this trail's coming to an end, guys, so. Hey, buddy, how'd you enjoy the walk? Aw, good boy, Dex. You had a good time? Did you like the artist trail? All right, guys, so we made it to the end of the Artist Trail, and that's going to do it for us here in Mill Creek Park today, the first hike of 2023. Thank you all for watching today's short little journey, and stay tuned for more content coming soon.